So here's the claws in an airtight container <clears throat> from the thing. Here we have the bigger sized claw, I believe. Yep. It's a three fingered claw. When it first comes out in the, the first it's in three shots in the movie. The first shot it's kind of clenched in a fist like like so. Someone's hand is obviously in it. And then it goes up out of the frame. And uh, then in the next shot, you can see it, the two hands rising up out of the grossness. So the other claw, and these are in kind of bad shape. They should be stuffed and taxidermized, I suppose. The second claw is a lot smaller. Not a lot, but it's definitely smaller. And the two hands reach up to the ceiling, pull itself up, and that's it for the claws. <clears throat> And I have, beyond a doubt, verified these are the ones used in the movie, without a question. I mean, of course, they're discolored, they're, they're, the paint is gone, the goo is gone, the, the claws are just rubber, and they look like they're actual, you know, sharp claws, but they're not. And these are basically puppets. Someone basically put their hands inside this thing, and I'm not going to do it because it's, they're just too delicate, and I'm trying to be very gentle. These belong to Jason Lethert, and he's got a long story about how he obtained them. It's kind of funny, when I uh, went to his house one time, he said, I got these, this prop from the thing, I don't know what it is. And I pulled out these two claws and I said, are you kidding me? These are from the dog kennel scene. I couldn't believe it. Entirely amazed and geeked out to the max when I, when I discovered these amazing claws. And then there's a few other items which are just kind of obscure tendrils type of thing. We can assume that this is something that would have been wrapped around the dogs on the ground. They did some reverse photography, etc. But they're just nasty, random, disgusting tendrils. And that's all they are. But you can see the fine detail that they even went to the trouble to sculpt these things, make them with veins and so forth. And they're just on screen for a second, covered in goo, and it's dark. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> awesome stuff. This is the big size one. It's on the left in the, in the shots. And this is the other one on the right. And it's a lot smaller. It's in a lot worse of shape than the other one. Now, I, I verified, personally, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that these are the ones in the movie. And there's kind of a... One little particular thing was a dead giveaway for me. There's a shot in that movie where the hands rise up and I always thought there was kind of like a hole like in the knuckle area it's really this is it this little dent right there is clearly visible in the movie it's kind of you know opaque and it's got you know paint and goo on it but that alone proved to me this is the actual screen used prop there's no question these are the three the, the two claws that rise up and I'm thrilled to be able to share them with you for the DVD of Stover Hill. So here's the claw. This is the bigger size claw. Basically, when uh, I wrote Stover Hill with Jason and Sergio, I was going to do a scene that was basically designed to be deleted. We weren't planning on using it, but what I wanted to do, and it's in one of the versions of the script, was to have Mike Braden put this on, which would have been actually kind of difficult. It does have an opening but it's pretty collapsed and stuck together and I, I wouldn't have wanted to risk damaging it but I was going to have him try to put it on in some capacity and that there was going to be a shot where he was going to kind of pull it out of his pocket or whatever and go towards Randy with this on it. But I just thought it would be so cool to have a screen used prop from a film that was very influential to Stover Hill. The Thing from 1982. But it's one of the three things we ran out of time to do. We were going to do more of the, with the ending. We were going to do a thing when Raquel comes out and smacks Randy with a broomstick. But, and then we were going to do this thing with the hands. And it was just going to be a quick shot where he was going to kind of go grab his throat or something and then that would be the end of it. But we didn't get a chance to do it. I had these things laid out the whole time. In the hopes that we'd have a chance to have Mike put this on. So that's the story behind that. I wish we could have done it, but at least I got these to show you 
for the DVD special features of Stover Hill.